set me down and told me be all right. You said we were the only good guys that we carried the light in our. face blind from birth and this is me and my story of the strange man in the mirror and the ashes fall on the children's faces on the names and Prosopagnosia is the inability to recognize someone by the face, by face identity. So I see you and then I don't know who you are. Maybe if you start speaking, then I do know who you are. So it's not about not knowing a person, but about not recognizing someone by their face alone. You set me down to don't have any problems with recognizing cars or other objects. They have normal uh, intellectual abilities and so they're just like regular people. They just cannot recognize other people by their face. Now I will say something about encoding strategies. Uh, the first one was rehearsal. You probably all know this one. Then we have chunking, um, then mnemonic devices, uh, which I will explain later. So pick somebody if it's too silent, so choose one. If you have the developmental uh, prosopagnosia, it's that you often don't know you have it. And um, there are a lot of different explanations you might have uh, about why you are not so good at recognizing faces. So a lot of people think they are maybe a bit dreamy, they don't pay attention, or, you know, other people often call them arrogant or disinterested. So they think, yeah, that it's more of a personality thing. And it's very hard if you don't know how other people do something, that you don't have it. So they, and of course, if you say, oh, sorry, I don't know who you are, then people say, oh, I forget a name often as well. And there's nobody who will tell you, oh, maybe you're prosopagnosic because it's not well known. So. Often something really bad happens and that's when they find out like, oh, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe that I can do something that other people can. I asked you if you leave me. You said you'd never go. two types of prosopagnosia or two ways in which you can get it and the first is of course brain damage so you can get maybe a tumor or a stroke which renders you unable to recognize people by their face the brain is always a network in the sense that there are no not one area that does just one thing but we know that if you get damaged for example in the fusiform gyrus which uh, we call uh, the, uh, the fusiform face area if that part is damaged then you will become prosopagnosic However, there's also uh, something called developmental prosopagnosia. And we say developmental even though we don't really know if it's maybe genetic or 
if you're born with it or if it's a developmental disorder. But anyway, in these people, they have this, uh, these problems from birth on, at least from, ch from childlike uh, age on. And if you put those maybe in an fMRI scanner, it's very hard to see damage. So there's no damage anyway. So their brains look totally normal. End of time. You will find us waiting on the seashore, fading. How are you? It really is a matter of not being able to recognize people by the face. But you can recognize people by the way they walk, by their attitude, by their voice. And that's often how people try to do it. I always ask my participants about the tricks they use, about how, like how in normal life do you recognize people? And they always say, okay, I try to remember their haircuts, their glasses, their coats. They really, really try to remember a lot of uh, anecdotes, like where you've been. So if maybe you tell me like, oh, my sister's wedding was very nice and they know who you are because they try to remember everything from everybody. Unfortunately, there's also no way that we know of by now to improve it. So there's no training you can do. I hope that once we know what exactly goes wrong, it's where, that we can try and develop maybe a method um, that I think is a way into the future. <laughs> So we estimate that um, the prevalence is around 2 to 6% in the population. Mm -hmm.